Right, here we are starting in one corner. We have a one that slits trench, which is adjacent to, um, I believe, a Vickers gun pit. Uh, we'll keep walking around the site so we can see what else is here. As you can see, it is in a wooded paddock um, just off the Wyndham Road, northwest of Hethel Airfield. As we come up, uh, moving towards the other corner of the uh, site, you'll see here again there is another slit trench. The slit trench is also adjacent to another Vickers gun pit. And as you can see just in the corner there, just behind, there is another slit trench, which makes this for an interesting looking defensive position. Believed to be predating Hethel Airfield, possibly used by the Home Guard. And that's another view there of the other slit trench. So you can see they're not massively deep, two, three foot at most. Um, looking back around from that corner, Across to the site here. Walking along, there's a uh, yet another Vickers gun pit. This one's actually uh, got quite a bit of water in it, but you can see the uh, uh, gun positioning mounts uh, corner there uh, on that one. Again, as we uh, keep walking around this site, we'll come across. Just get through these uh, bits of uh, undergrowth here. There's another. Vickers gun pit on the opposite corner to where we started. So there's that. A little bit more overgrown, um, but again, this one is uh, full of water as well. Coming from here, this is the interesting bit. On the uh, western side, uh, you have two slit trenches next to each other. That one there. And we'll continue just walking around. Let's watch the hawthorn trees. And there you see the other one. So these two, just swing around, there's that one there, and literally, just next to us, you've got that one there. Facing fields full of uh, rapeseed oil. Lovely springtime yellow colour in this part of East Anglia. Right, let's just move back down into this other corner here. You'll see another Vickers gun mount. This one's a lot cleaner, this has got to be a good four foot deep. Um, as you can see the brickwork for where the uh, gun would have been mounted is actually quite good Again the corner where the uh, gun mount would have been is uh, outward facing uh, As you can see to the field there is Wyndham Road All right, as we come back into the uh, In through this top this last bit here We'll see Where we came in And uh, there is one more Vickers gun pit. Uh, fairly overgrown. This one is literally just right on next to Wyndham Road. Sounds like there's a vehicle coming. So you can see literally how close we are to Wyndham Road. Just about, so about now. There you go. And if we turn around and go back into the uh, the centre of the uh, the site, fairly open, fairly clear. A lot of these trees, obviously fairly recent, would have been uh, since this site would have been built. This would have been very open. Um, obviously defending something here, but I'm not quite sure what. There is here, as you can see, the ammunition locker. So um, just a semi-sunken um, brick structure, concrete roof. And uh, have a quick look in there. As you can see, it is uh, just a straightforward concrete roof and a brick structure. There we go, so not a lot massively to it, but earth covered, a nice earth mound. And there we go, that's the, um, the tour of this site. Um, as I say, it's not something I, uh, I know massively much about. The uh, main thing for me is looking at airfields. Um, but it's, uh, it's been an interesting little walk around this site actually. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, there will be a few photos. And um, 